Hey everyone, just to give you all a little update on what I've been doing with the Sunflower. I have obviously got all the wiring and interior stripped out of it. I haven't got my engine yet. Uh, that's being built at the moment. The engine bay is completely empty. I've got all the wiring pretty much stripped out of it. I've decided to get rid of the factory PCM and go with the aftermarket standalone engine management system. I went with the MS3 Pro. Uh, Mega Squirt from DIY Autotune, and you can see I have the interior completely stripped out, and just got the dash back in earlier tonight. Right there is the MS3 Pro computer, which is going to be mounted behind the panel on my center console. And what I basically have decided to do is I want to keep a close to factory look as possible, so I went with the Mega Squirt. And decided to use the factory PCM as a dongle or a simulator, I guess you could say, to retain all the factory cluster and uh, HVAC and body control module functions, such as interior lighting and I don't have power locks or windows, but anti-theft and all that good stuff and lighting. So I've basically relocated, as you've seen before, everything from the engine bay. Uh, it's actually underneath the dash. Uh, my power wires are located on the inside. They're running out to the firewall. I'll show that to you. But I got to the point tonight where I was able to mock up and test the gauge functionality and all that stuff as far as anything related to the BCM. And right now, I'll show you the gauge cluster. That's a uh, Black Hat Customs 140 cluster that I had them do in an original style uh, font layout so it kind of looks stock and I have some gauges I modified from a Pontiac Aztec to kind of give it a little bit of a different look. And Factory Radio Works. I've done an LED upgrade to the HVAC. Defrost and air conditioner both are working. Obviously there's no air conditioner in it right now, but I've tested the pinouts uh, with my voltmeter. Everything works as far as that. I even managed to figure out the mileage issue with the Canadian clusters. I managed to find the programming and was able to modify that. So I now have a US spec 140 mile an hour cluster in my car. Uh, the next thing I did, uh, you might have seen it as far as a couple pictures and videos on Facebook. I took the factory fuse box from underneath the hood and relocate it underneath the dash uh, to kind of clean up the engine bay. You can see the factory fuse boxes in there as well as the OBD2 port and the tuning port for the MS3 Pro. So where the airbag used to be is now underneath the dash. Uh, a lot easier access, a lot cleaner. And obviously, like I said, the interior is completely out of it. Uh, I still got a long way to go, but so far I'm quite happy with where I'm at on it. Crap everywhere. But it's coming along, and hopefully, it will be one of the few. To be able to run a standalone EMS and still have everything as far as factor original functionality. Uh, to kind of give you an idea, this right here is a pile of airbag and various sensor wiring that I took out of the car. I'm not going to be using a factory ignition system or anything, so all that was eliminated as well. It's all going to be controlled with the MS3 Pro. And to give you an idea, one of the two plugins on the computer 
this is how much I was able to reduce on one of them. This is just a mock-up I did. But I basically eliminated both plugins to the bare essentials to retain functionality as far as cluster data, serial data, and inputs and outputs, uh, coolant temp, VSS, backup light, crank sensor for gauge functionality, temperature, and outputs for everything as far as uh, air conditioning, alternator. So I've come greatly reduced the wiring on the car as far as factory and once I get my engine and transmission finished and hopefully gear all back together and 600 plus is the goal. See you guys later.